Knock, knock. Who's there? Quail. Quail who? Welcome to QuailCon 2021. Yay. You guys having fun? Mm -hmm. Did you guys learn some stuff? Yes. Did you learn anything you didn't want to know? Not necessarily. Yeah, well, because that's weird. Did you learn anything you didn't know you wanted to know? Huh? Yeah, probably. That's yeah. good. That means you're a good student. <laughs> Look at the big pig. No, right here. Yeah, that's a big pig. And then the emus. Yeah, this one. yeah, so emus sell insurance these days. You see one of the little ones? You're trying to find the thing where they get the milk. At home, Look, I call like, them nickels. <laughs> the udder, yeah. I wish I could go in there and help the little piggy. Baby. It's just taking a nap. <laughs> What'd you get? I got a little keychain with a quail on it. Ooh. That's awesome. What'd you get? Same thing except for mine says I love quail. I love I want one that says I love nachos. <laughs> Just imagine if we had that in our living room. It would smell worse than the boys' room. Hey everybody, it's Aaron from the Kilby Life out at QuailCon 2021 with Grace and Abby. What is quail con? Uh, it's all about quail, obviously. So, mm -hmm. I've been raising quail for a few years now. Mm -hmm. well, maybe almost four years. And uh, and uh, we raise them for meat and eggs. And part of it was just uh, self-sufficiency. Just kind of interested in how that kind of stuff works. And, uh, you know, first thing I notice is that they smell. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you don't realize that animals poop. Yeah, I should have realized that because I got a bunch of kids and I realized you guys all poop pretty quick. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Quail. Quail who? Quail poo. <laughs> After this, I think you'll be too old to bounce ever again. I used to be able to hold my own body weight. You, get me to, you make it across that? Probably not. You need to work on your upper body strength. High <laughs> terrible at that. Like a koi pond. Yeah, there's goldfish in there. The koi oh. pond.
That sound right there makes me have to pee. I come to quail from a little bit different approach than the rest of the people here. Um, for the rest of the people here, it's mostly a business. And for me, it's mostly just to feed my family. So it's just for me. I just raise the quail for meat and eggs. Um, I live in city, so I don't have a big uh, farm or anything like that to raise them on. So I'm kind of limited with what I can do, and that's one of the reasons I chose quail over chickens. Uh, chickens, I think, are fine to have for egg production, but living in town, I can't have roosters, so I can't produce fertile eggs to reproduce chickens. And not only that, but really, most of your barnyard chickens for the egg laying are not good meat chickens anyway. Now, depending on where you live, your city may not be that restrict on it. You may be able to get away with all kinds of things. Um, but my, my quail hutches, I have two of them. One of them I run as a, my primary hutch. The other one I run as mostly for grow outs and things like that. And the, they're both about eight foot long by three foot wide. So they're not a very big footprint. They keep up a very small space. And that produces, if I wanted to incubate quail every week, I could, and I could produce a ton of meat out of those two hutches. I just don't do that much because I'm too busy. I don't have the time to, to deal with that at all. So, But I see a lot of people just start right away and think that, oh, I just have to feed and water every day and I can make it. I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm really not. Quail are super fun, super easy to raise, and it's a good market for everybody. But it is a lifestyle choice, you know? Uh, so just keep that in mind. If you're raising quail for yourself, self-sufficiency, kind of like what Chris does, right? You do it one way. If you're making it a business, we do it a completely different way. You kind of, that quality shows, right? So if we were just raising quail for ourselves, it would not be any, anything like this. It'd be in that right there, outside, maybe in a, a cage that we put together. Wouldn't be a big deal. We're collecting them for meat and eggs, not a big deal. But if I'm shipping them, those quail are not ours. They're yours. We're just, they're on loan to us, right? We're taking care of them and then you're getting them. So we need to go above and beyond. This is the biggest mistake I see people make. Slow and steady is going to win the race every time. I will get, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 people a year, never raise quail, want to start the business, all that's fine. They want to buy two to 5,000 eggs, <laughs> like that. Well, I've, I've raised chickens, that's cool, but, uh, Maybe you should like get 50, 100, just try them out, you know, butcher some, taste it, try the eggs, uh, just try it first. No, I, I got it. Okay, I mean, I'll explain it to them. If they wanna buy those eggs, I will sell them. I'm in the business of selling, right? But I'm not trying to get, it, it's not gonna work out. That is your recipe for disaster. You don't know what you're doing. It, Quail are easy, but there's learning. There's a learning curve there, you know? They're this small compared to a chicken that's this big at hatch. It's just a whole different game, right? What about the eggshells of the chicks that hatched? Absolutely. Gardening is wonderful. Yeah. Get a 50 pound feed bag, fill it up, and sell it at a farmer's market. Absolutely. There's a market. For everything. So, okay. we are putting five in one unit, I would say, and then 15 in all the Okay. They have the water there, you see the water, and they have the feeders. So, they drink water and they eat here. And you see the slope, and they lay an egg. The egg basically rolls here, and you can collect the eggs here. Okay. So if you want to clean the poop, this is a poop trail. Okay? You take it out, you just clean it, and you put it back. So it's all in one, and it's really healthy for the animals because it's rust free. So if you want to, you know, have coils at home, you can have such a setup and raise coils at home. Okay? Tell your father to buy you a coil. I can 3D print any photograph. Oh, wow. So this is my daddy, and that's me, when I was in fourth grade in 1994. And my mom took this picture on a disposable camera. She got film developed and printed it off. 20 years later, she sent me this 
in a text message, and I printed it out. That's cool. Um, also, with pictures that are digitally native, I can get just amazing, amazing detail in them. Mm. Um, so I print these as a standalone that will go in your shell, uh, on your window so that the sunlight comes through and um, lights up the image. Or I can print it with a nightlight included. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Canon Chicks. And this can survive inside or outside, but it produces, you can see, it produces little, called, little grow out. It's a succulent. It's a succulent, yes. But um, this, this has been outside for months and months and months. It does great outside. Um, even in the climate up here, it will, um, it will do great. But this was just two, and it's already become that many. Yeah, those, those things can go crazy. And then this one is my favorite. This is called Mouse Tail Cactus, and her name is Lox. And if someone buys her, I'm going to be a little sad. Abby, how's QuailCon been? It's been very fun. What's your favorite part so far? Um, I'm not sure. Your dad? <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite part of QuailCon so far? Um, I really liked, um, walking around and seeing all the different things and learning some stuff that I didn't know I was going to learn about, about quail. Mm -hmm. And it's been pretty fun. Yeah. So to me, um, I think I've known a lot of the stuff because I've been a student of YouTube, but I, I learned that, um, there's a lot of people that are into quail. You know, it's a it's a thing, and uh, there's, you know, I just got to remember there's all these different tribes of people that are into different things, and it just, you know, if if you feel like you have interests or things that you're passionate about, and you're like the only one, yeah, you got to find your people. <laughs> so. It's kind of good that we have social media these days where we can find people that have interests, you know, the same as us, so we could talk about and just, you know, I like that. And, uh, yeah. I'm pretty cool. Also, I mean, <laughs> my opinion is that I'm cool. I mean, right now it's pretty hot in the sun, but. Pretty cool for a dad. smile sometimes I hope people don't just think I'm showing my teeth because I'm super aggressive <laughs> I mean other times I hope they think I'm aggressive <clears throat> is this gonna make amazing television probably not yeah.